yeah, if you think you're gonna do it in your own strength, then you know what, yeah, you can do it. COVID, it's been helping people move their businesses from offline or brick and mortar to online. Systems yeah. are more important than skills as an entrepreneur today. It's yes. totally okay to reinvent yourself yes. multiple times, especially when you're an entrepreneur. Welcome to Profitable Coaching Conversations with Wendy Y. Bailey. If you're a coach, speaker, or industry expert, you're in the right place for sales and marketing wisdom and insight to grow your coaching business. Now, here's your host, Income Acceleration Mentor, Wendy Y. Bailey. Hi, everyone, and welcome again to Profitable Coaching Conversations. I'm so delighted to introduce you to our guest for this episode. Rebecca the Great is what I call her. It's because she is an amazing leadership coach and executive coach. She works with women on how to make their outside match their inside really leveraging what they learn and what they do to focus on the inside stuff. We're going to get into more of that later, but we've known each other for about uh, four years, and it's been a delight every single minute knowing Miss Rebecca. Welcome, Miss Rebecca. Glad you're here. Thank you, Wendy. Why, it's great to be here. Awesome, awesome. So tell us more about what you do. Like I gave my little spill about it, but I want to make sure that that you have an opportunity to even correct some of the things I might not have gotten exactly right. So tell us about what you do. Sure. Well, I really enjoy how you put things together. I have over the years that we've known one another found that the way you put them together is just lovely. So I will do justice to that as well. So I love I love to serve women who mm-hmm. have a vision and a dream, who want to step out, who are leaders, who have something to say in the world, and they want mm-hmm. to say it. Oftentimes, they may be stuck on how to say it. They may not. Uh, may, may be dealing with their own personal issues of uh, what is my place, what can I hope for, what is it that I have to bring, um, how do I step forward and walk and and talk the role that I feel within me uh, when scenarios are such that um, they would speak to the opposite. So if Mm -hmm. I'm in a boardroom as a woman uh, among a group of men, uh, how is it that I maintain and hold who it is that I am and engage in that environment as well as engaging with my team? Right. And so one of the things I really like to do with women, because I think one of the one of the most powerful places where we can find our responses and our answers is by turning within. Uh, there is, an, I believe, it to be an internal guide that we have that far exceeds what both our mind and our heart can provide. Yeah. So it's the space that when we're stuck, especially in the outer situation, our mm-hmm. mind is very aware of what's happening in the world. The heart responds to it and feels, and then we get caught in a loop. And as a leader, you know, you're looking at people and they're caught in a loop. And sometimes a leader has to step outside the boundary to be able to innovate, to be able to bring new ideas and new concepts. So by turning within and getting quiet, it creates an opportunity for an individual to engage, for the woman to engage and say, what is it that we can bring that's different, that's unique? How can we address the situation and do it in a way that is in harmony with who she is, that she's not trying to bring someone else's ideas to light as much as her own? Yeah. The thing that I love about what you're saying, I'm thinking back to those days when I was in corporate America and I felt like every single day I was in a male dominated industry and division in the corporation that I, where I worked. And I felt almost battered and bruised every day because, you know, men are, are unfortunately can play jokes and say things jokingly that are really painful and hurtful. They can downplay your ideas. And so you're talking about getting to a place, a still quiet place to be able to manage that and address that in a way that's productive for you and doesn't leave you feeling yucky, you Mm -hmm. know, doesn't leave you feeling like, wow, I've been battered and bruised. You feel more empowered as a result. Yeah, that can be painful, can it, To, to, Mm -hmm. to, to walk through and bring what it is that you want to bring, only to have someone downplay it, minimize it. And yeah. then I think that's why it is important that when we, we go inside, we understand the value and the depth of it so that we can stand in its truth of, of how we see it. Mm-hmm. Um, 
and not feel bad because we recognize it that way. The opposite side of that, maybe not quite opposite, but within that, I think that if you're a strong woman in a corporate environment, sometimes you're, you're misperceived or your actions are misconstrued as aggressive. Mm -hmm. So can you say something a little bit about that? Sure. I think in moving in that, it's, it's being aggressive. It's almost too like it's a name calling. Mm -hmm. It totally is a name calling. And, and it's yeah. like, it's, that's, that's really indicative of the level at which that comment is coming from. Mm -hmm. It is coming from almost a child-based orientation. Yeah, it's like sure. what happened earlier when, um, you know, uh, one political gentleman went aggressively after a, a female politician and mm -hmm. the words used in that mm -hmm. were mm -hmm. really didn't vulgar come from intellect. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was just like, wow, it was base. Yeah, vulgar. <laughs> it's That's like awful. we, where that came from was the yeah. backyard of a schoolroom, but mm -hmm. it, so it's like pausing and I, I loved it. I was uh, looking through social network and watched this woman talked about Mm -hmm. You know, dealing with the word, if you'll pardon me, the, the uh, bitch, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. dealing with that word. And we're talking AOC is who we're yeah, talking about. Yeah, we're about. talking AOC, AOC. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this other one who presented her, her argument about that, she says, if you're going to step in, own it. Mm -hmm. Own it. Mm -hmm. Just step in and own it. Demystify it. Right. De disempower it. Say, mm -hmm. yes, yes, I am. Mm -hmm. If that's what it means for you to claim someone who knows who she is and who has a belief and structure that she's bringing forth, then yes, I, I will most happily wear that name, you mm -hmm. know, because you may call the name, but I could do interpret how I'm going to receive it and work with it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think that's, I think she that's, handled it extremely well. Yes. Yes. Extremely well. Yes. And I think that caught having him to take ownership of it, that's his responsibility. That mm -hmm. doesn't belong to her. That's something he's going to have to own. And, you know, she's stepping into her and embracing her own authority and her own power in that, I think is wonderful. And I think that's what happens too when we know who we are and we turn within. Because mm -hmm. then we can pause and say, well, I guess so. I guess if that's what you want to call a bitch, as some woman who stands up and knows who she is and is addressing mm -hmm. situations from that, then sure. Because to me, that puts the onus back on the individual who expressed it in the first place. And I, mm -hmm. and then, at least for me, if I do that, then I don't have to take ownership of how that's interpreted. Right. Yeah. There's a responsibility that goes along with someone saying that versus someone um, who is on the receiving end of it feeling the weight of responsibility because they've been called that. Yes. I, I love that distinction because of what it means uh, for you being empowered in the space of that name call. Right. You know? mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, good stuff, good stuff. So we're going to take a break, and then when we come back, we're going to talk more about the profitable wisdom segment. Sound good? Sounds wonderful. Okay, awesome. Are you ready to elevate your sales game so you can add some zeros to your bottom line? Back by popular demand is Supersize Your Selling, the seven-day sales challenge for coaches, speakers, industry experts, and marketplace influencers. Get ready to grow confident in your selling. Practice selling with grace and ease. Discover how to convert more ideal clients. Shatter your sales fears. Overcome objections effortlessly. Activate income acceleration in your business. This activation challenge features daily burst of content, easy to complete assignments, sales coaching with none other than yours truly, Wendy Y, downloadable sales script, ongoing accountability and support. It's because it is designed to help you win. Sign up now at www.supersizeyourselling.com. That's www.supersizeyourselling.com, and we'll see you there. How do you create sustainable success in your business? It means that you're focused on creating a message for your most ideal client that magnetizes them to you. They're clamoring to work with you because of the messaging you have that shares with them your ability to solve their problems. It also means that you're working daily, weekly, and monthly on the right actions to impact your bottom line profits. 
yeah, you want to increase them, but you've got to focus on moving away from the energy drainers and the time wasters to work with people that you are clearly designed to support in your business. It also means elevating your sales game. You've got to be really good at selling if you're in business and you've got to know the right way to step into your sales game and elevate it so that you're authentic and true to who you are and you're able to really and truly solve the problem your client presents when he or she comes to you. I'm Wendy Y. Bailey, known as your Income Acceleration Mentor. And I'm so excited that I'm going to be delivering another Income Acceleration Day and you're invited. It's a virtual group coaching intensive designed specifically for people in the transformation space, like coaches and speakers and industry experts and marketplace influencers and CEOs and entrepreneurial leaders and consultants, all working on making a difference in the lives of people. Maybe it's in their business, maybe it's in their personal lives. It's all about transforming the people you serve. It's virtual, no traffic, no travel. And when we get together, we roll up our sleeves and we create that messaging that you're really looking for. We also look at what your income producing activities are. We get rid of the energy drainers and time wasters in your business. It's also about understanding and identifying multiple streams of active and passive income so that when you focus on the right things, you know exactly what your bottom line is going to look like. And then finally, we're going to do what we need to do to elevate your sales game. It's a must. It's easy. I promise you're going to love wearing the new sales game that you have going forward. Income Acceleration Day is happening soon, and I'd love for you to join me. Go to www.incomeaccelerationday.com and get ready because it's all about accelerating your income quickly, growing your bottom line profits so that you can create the sustainable success you desire in your business too. See you there. Hi, I'm Simon T. Bailey, and you are tuned into the Profitable Coaching Conversations with Wendy Y. Bailey. Listen, it's an amazing show. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel so you know when the next episode is coming your way. Hi, I'm Jennifer Madsen, and you're tuned in to the Profitable Coaching Conversations show with Wendy Y. Bailey like comment review and subscribe so that you're notified when the next episode goes live hi i'm beverly wathauer and you're tuned in to the profitable coaching conversation show with wendy y bailey like comment review and subscribe now so you're notified when the next episode goes live okay welcome back we're talking with rebecca victor she's a leadership coach, leadership development coach. And we've been talking a lot about how she supports women in the workplace at high levels within corporations. So now we're going to kind of shift our gears just a little bit to talk up through the profitable wisdom segment. This is a segment where I ask questions of every single guest and their answers are inspiring and encouraging and motivational and very personal in nature, but they're designed to help you gain a greater insight into those key areas in your life as well. So let's jump in, Miss Rebecca. Sounds great. So who has had the greatest influence in your life? When I get that, when I got that question, Wendy, why I thought there really isn't one. Yes, yeah, a lot of people, right? Oh. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, I look at my mother who, who really taught me love, who taught me um, to be present and to stand in my truth. Mm -hmm. uh, my father taught me integrity. Uh, mm. Taught me integrity. Hold on to what you know, even when something's coming at you that has the capacity to truly do damage. Still hold on to your integrity um, and humor. Uh, mm -hmm. My brother taught me the power of holding my own when I was in construction. You know, he you know wow. stepped forward and and uh, he had different names for that that I won't repeat. But <laughs> you know, own, yeah. you know, own who you are as you are on that site as a because I was the only female foreman at that time. It was very new to have women on the site, let alone as a foreman. Wow. How yeah, interesting. So, yeah. So that was, that was wonderful. I've had um, a, a woman a minister who's who taught me the power of gratitude. 
that mm. I had no, mm. you know, conception of. And, and I mean, even through the days, you know, people I know who are there present, you and your support as we've moved through some of the, the issues that I have had over the years mm -hmm. to really step in and own who it is that I am and what I'm bringing. So wow. all those, I can't just say one. Yeah. But it's great to have that level of influence on your life because, you know, I don't, I don't think you're someone who takes it for granted because you recognize that it's come from so many sources mm -hmm. and that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful that it's come from so many sources for you. So what's the best business advice you've ever received? Best business advice was keeping my finances separate from my personal finances. Yeah. It's probably one of the greatest because if I don't, then am I ever truly owning myself as an entrepreneur in my business? Uh, so that was a real powerful lesson to say, yes, I have a business. This is my account. Everything comes in and out. Yeah. I have an, my own separate card for that account, especially in the early days. You know, mm -hmm. that card is what, you know, keeps oftentimes that cash flowing that's needed. Uh, and it helps just keep things clean. So that was yeah. the, probably the most important for me. Very good. And I hope there are some entrepreneurs that are watching and listening that are saying, wow, I never thought it was that important. Yes, it's that important. So thank you for sharing that. So what's the largest single sale you've ever made in your business? And I know that you've been full time in your business just for a couple of years. So mm -hmm. what's the greatest, the biggest sale that you've ever had? Uh, my sale, the largest sale I had was uh, $3,000. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> for working with uh, uh, a woman who was really unhappy and really wanted more for her life. She was seeking more, greater balance and expression. And so we worked together to help support her in that. And she's doing mm -hmm. great. Awesome. Awesome. So you were working with her one-on-one -on -one then? Yes. Yeah, one -on -one. yeah. Great. And what did you do to celebrate? Because, you know, when you reach that, that big milestone the first time, it's like such a big deal. Well, anytime it's, it's a big deal. But when you reach it really the first time, you celebrate. Yeah. So did you do something to celebrate? Sure. I started off with a happy dance, you know, yes. so it yes. had that, that happy dance, like, woo. <laughs> and then uh, I, um, I shared it with my husband and, uh, you know, we went out to dinner. Yeah. You know, yeah. just, just, but more than anything, just celebrating and exciting to be able to, to work mm -hmm. with uh, that individual it was a real honor. So. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And what has helped you when you thought of giving up? We all have those times when it's like, I'm done. I'm throwing in the towel. I'm not going to do this anymore. What has helped you to move through that and right. continue to stay committed and motivated in your business. Yeah. Well, I think the thing that I talked about was turning within. Because uh, mm. uh, mm. there have been moments where what I have reached for did not come to pass. Or it came to pass in such a way that it frightened me because it came so well. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's so, really here. It can't it's be here. Better. And I'm doing better than I thought. And, oh, how'd I handle that? Yeah. So that was, uh, that was a gift. So turning within, you know, getting a sense of what it was about so I could understand um, Having faith in what I was learning, you know, having mm -hmm. faith uh, was really important uh, that I had the capacity to achieve and accomplish what I wanted and honoring me, honoring my passion, mm -hmm. recognizing it as having value, very important value yeah. and seeking individuals who are supportive of like mind, of like energy, of like heart that I can connect with who, when I'm in a space of doubt, sees who I am beyond that. Mm -hmm. you know, they see a truth greater than what's being presented in that moment. And that those are some of the things that I look for. You know, the thing that I'm, I'm hearing in, in what you shared is you've turned your own way of addressing life and your business and what you're doing mm -hmm. into a system almost for the women that you serve. Yes. Because what you described sounded very much like a system that you walk through and continuously walk through in your business and ex extends into how you're able to support women as well. Yes. Very important because it takes the power away from circumstances and puts it back squarely within ourselves. Mm -hmm. I think that's critical, especially now. Yeah. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. awesome sauce. So what's your greatest personal accomplishment outside of your business? You know, uh, I think probably internally speaking, it's loving myself. Mm. Truly, truly loving myself. Say that again. I got goosebumps <laughs> when you said that. That's so huge, uh, I'm telling it, you. It is, it, yeah, it is critical, that love for myself. And and externally uh, building a relationship with someone I love and continue to love. We, you know, rearing two children together and watching them be successful. Mm-hmm. And then after they're gone, recreating a, a relationship together again mm-hmm. and supporting each other and building additional dreams. So that's probably some of the biggest things, not just one win why. So. <laughs> yeah. It's good stuff though. Yeah. It's really, really good stuff because the, that the powerful one for me has been how you recognized the value of loving yourself and how that played out in every area of your life. Okay. I think that's really powerful. Yeah. yeah. And it really fed into the rest of them, you know, mm-hmm. rearing your, your children, reinventing yourself and your relationship. Mm-hmm. You know, I just think that's awesome stuff. I really do. I really do. So we're going to be right back and Rebecca's going to give us her final word. See you in just a sec. Hi, I'm Lisa Crisali, and you're tuned into the Profitable Coaching Conversation Show with Wendy Y. Bailey. Go ahead, like, comment, review, and subscribe now so you're notified when the next episode goes live. Yo, people, what is up? This is your boy, John Lawson, johnlawson.com, and you're tuned in to the Profitable Coaching Conversation Show with Wendy Y. Bailey. Go ahead right now, subscribe, so that you're notified every time an episode goes live. I'm out of here for now, guys. Peace. Hey, it's Lou Barton, and you're tuned into the Profitable Coaching Conversation Show with Wendy Y. Bailey. Like, comment, review, and subscribe now so you're notified when the next episode goes live. Hi, I'm Penelope Jane Smith, and you are tuned in to the Profitable Coaching Conversations show with Wendy Y. Bailey. Like, comment, review, and subscribe now so you're notified when the next episode goes live. Wendy Y. here. And I want to extend my personal invitation to you to join the Profitable Coaching Society. It's a growing community of coaches, speakers, industry experts, and marketplace influencers just like you. Join the after party to connect with guests so you can continue the dialogue. They're waiting in the society to greet you. When you join, you're going to receive my special gift, the ultimate guide to profitable coaching conversations. Go to www.profitablecoachingsociety.com and I'll see you there. Are you a coach, speaker, industry expert, or marketplace influencer who's ready to take your business to the next level? That means more time, more money, more clients, and lots more options, not just in your business, but in your life as a whole. I'm Wendy Y. Bailey, known as your Income Acceleration Mentor, and I want to extend my personal invitation to you to join me and my amazing guests as we tap into sales and marketing insights to help you grow your business and ultimately your bottom line. It's easy to get caught up in the marketing side of it because marketing typically is more fun. Yeah. And <laughs> Find businesses and opportunities that are going to bring you joy. Saturday and Sunday was prime time. Lunchtime was prime time. So while everybody else is going to work, hanging out with their co-workers, trying to figure out what happened last night on Monday Night Football, I was making phone calls, I was responding to email, like I was, you know, trying to build a business. So I had You know, my personal model is by giving what I have, God is always gonna give me what I need. And if you want to ride in my car, you were paying for the gas. I love it. Tune in to Profitable Coaching Conversations at www.profitablecoachingconversations.com.
Okay, so we're back and we've been talking with Rebecca Victor, who is a leadership development coach who works with the women on leadership from the inside out. So what's your parting thought? If there's one thought you want listeners and, and watchers to take away from our conversation, what's that one thought, Rebecca? I would say as a leader, as a woman leader, as most leaders, you're often, the farther up you move up the ladder, the lonelier you can get. And one of the greatest gifts, I think, to give is, is to turn again within, to create space to get to know ourselves well, for the guidance, to know the steps that are important for us to take in relation to that which has the greatest meaning. And in that process, that's where you get served, you start developing relationships and connections that are more geared to the things that matter to you and that will be in service to you as the individual you are, the leader and the woman that you are. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, that's good. That's mm -hmm. really good. So I know you have a gift for everyone. Would you tell us about the gift and we'll put the link in the show notes. Wonderful. Uh, this is a, a, a little booklet that really talks about one of the first steps in turning within. And it's called self-awareness. It's about self-awareness. It just gives tips and ideas on how do we become more self-aware. What actions can we take? It's got guides on what you can do and steps that you can take to help you develop that sense of awareness, why it is so important, and uh, to really help foster that interest in you to be more self-oriented in that respect. Awesome. Yeah, great. Rebecca, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate your wisdom and insight and, and your sharing throughout this episode. Thank you so much. Thank you, anyway. It has been a joy, as you are a joy. So. Thank you so much. So we'll see you next time on Profitable Coaching Conversations. Remember, to check us out over at ProfitableCoachingSociety.com, and we'll greet you there for the after show. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks so much for tuning in to Profitable Coaching Conversations with Wendy Y. Bailey. Be sure to join us at the after party at www.profitablecoachingsociety.com. We'll see you next time for more sales and marketing wisdom and insight from Wendy Y. and her amazing guests. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you know when new episodes are posted.